Have you ever had to climb a mast to retrieve a halyard or something, but you didn't have any climbing gear on board? I climbed this 60 foot, 18 meter mast by myself using nothing but scraps of line. And today I'm going to show you how I did it. The challenge with mast climbing videos is they're actually really hard to film from on a boat. So what we're gonna do instead is I'm actually going to climb the halyard that I rigged on that tree behind me. There are a few different ways that you can climb a mast. One way is to simply connect the end of a halyard to a harness and have somebody winch you up. That's actually a really dangerous thing to do because the person winching, if they make a mistake um, or they lose the tail of the line, you can come crashing down to the deck. So I much rather climb the mast myself. I'm just gonna show you how I climb the mast normally with this gear first. And then what we'll do is we'll get rid of the gear and uh, I'll show you how to do it without it, but using the exact same concepts. I use a Petzl Gris Gris here, which is connected to my harness. And then I use an ascender here, which is connected to a foot loop. It's really important to have an ascender with really smooth teeth on it so it's not going to chew up your lines. The Petzl Gris Gris is also nice because it's really easy on your lines and uh, you can use it to repel down at the end. I'm not going to show you how to use the Petzl Gris Gris in detail because there's lots of videos on that. Normally what I would do to climb the mast is I would put my harness on. I like using a harness instead of a bosun's chair because I find the harness feels more secure, um, especially if you have to go up the mast while you're underway. Uh, I just find it feels safer. It feels less likely that you're going to fall out of it. Here's the foot loop um, that I use. I simply made this from a couple scraps of line and here's a, a daisy chain, uh, but this could really just be made of line and a, a carabiner on here. So I clip the foot loops to the top uh, ascender. Then I clip the gree gree to the bottom ascender. So once again, this is, this is the rig that I'm using here. An ascender with a daisy chain and foot loops and a Petzl gree gree. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my feet in the foot loops. Okay. Slide this up. Okay, here we go. We're ready to ready to climb here. Now what we're gonna do is we're basically going to inchworm our way up. What I'll do is I'll I'll sit down in the Grigri, test it. It's good to make sure it's all working. And then I stand up, pulling up. Then I stand up, lift, whoops. Stand up. And this is the motion that I repeat. And I'm hoping that tree branch is strong. It looks pretty strong. And uh, this is basically how I climb the mast. Now, when I want to come down, I can remove the foot loop gadget. I can clip it onto my harness. Whoops. See, if I was doing this on the boat, I would have dropped my ascender in the water. And then I'm just going to rappel down with the gree gree. Okay. That's how I would normally climb the mast. But what if I don't have this stuff? You can still climb the mast in a similar fashion. If you don't have an ascender and a gree gree, you can use prussic loops like this. A prussic loop is simply a piece of line with a double fisherman knot in it. To attach a prussic to the halyard, you simply wrap it around. And I'm gonna go around one more time. So here you have a prussic. It really is a couple of loops. Um, you can look up how to tie that online. But the cool thing about a prussic is that when there's tension on it, it actually locks and you can hang on it like that. So what we're going to do is use two prussics, one in place of the gree gree and one in place of the uh, ascender. Okay. Ideally, the prussics will be made of smaller line than the halyard. 
So now I've got two prussics here. I've just made these from scraps of line on my boat. Okay, great. Now I need to make a harness. To make a harness, I've simply taken another scrap of line with double fisherman's knot in the end of it. And it's about as long as from my shoulder to the end of my hand. Uh, and depending on how big you are, you might need to adjust it. Then what I can do is I can put this around my body like this, reach between my legs, pull it forward, and then voila, I have the makings of a harness. Now I just need something to attach it together with. On a boat, maybe you've got a halyard shackle lying around. I mean, maybe a halyard shackle is not the best idea. Maybe an anchor shackle is better. The point is, is that you just need something to close these three loops together on themselves. If you have a carabiner, that's ideal. Now, for the foot loop, I can simply make something out of a piece of line here. I'll put a loop in the end of a piece of line. Okay, there's part of the foot loop. Then I'm going to tie it onto one of these prussics. Okay, so there's my foot loop. If you're going to climb a halyard with prussics, it actually really helps if the halyard is taut. And so what I've done here is I've gone and tied the halyard uh, to a bale of hay to uh, weigh it down and simulate attaching it to the deck. I've got my foot loop prussic here. And I've got my harness prussic here with my makeshift harness. So I'll go ahead and attach my harness prussic to the shackle. Once again, I think an anchor shackle would be so much better. I just wanted to show that uh, you can be creative or you could use a soft shackle, something like that. Okay, now I'm going to put my feet in. Okay. There's blackberries here. Okay, so I think we're ready to roll. What I do is I slide the foot loop, slide the foot loop prussic up, stand up, slide the harness prussic, slide the foot loop prussic, stand up, pull this prussic up, and then you can inchworm your way up just using There we go. So, as you can see, this is going to take a little while, uh, but it's uh, absolutely working. I'm climbing a halyard with nothing but scraps of line. Coming down is, is the opposite of going up. You just alternate sitting and standing and lowering the prussic. You just have to slide them down Whoops, that one's too far. There we go. If you liked this video, Leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel, and uh, watch this next video.